this is the solution to written homework 52. Okay, so we're given a quadratic with, with these outputs. Find the vertex of the parabola. Okay, well, <coughs> because of this, right here, you can see that there's a symmetry in the output. So it outputs a 1, and then a 3, and then a 1 again. Well, the fact that uh, it outputs a 1 at 0 and 2 means that the vertex has to be right in the middle. And 1 is right in the middle. So the vertex of the parabola is 1, 3. And the axis of symmetry goes through the vertex, so it is x is 1. So what we do know, because of that, is that f of x must be equal to a times x minus 1 squared plus 3 for some a. And what we need to know, we need to know uh, what is the value of a. Well, we can use this, this data. So we know that 0, 1 is a point on there. When we plug in 0, we're supposed to get 1. So f evaluated at 0, well, that would be a multiplied by negative 1 squared plus 3. So f of 0 is a plus 3. And this is supposed to be 1, so f of 0 is 1 is a plus 3. <coughs> so then moving the 3 to the other side, that would be uh, negative 2 is a. And therefore, f of x is negative 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 3. And just to make sure that that seems reasonable, let's make a quick sketch. So we'll plug in 0, 1, 2, and negative 1. So the table is saying that if you plug in 0, if you plug in 0, you're supposed to get 1. If you plug in 1, you get 3. If you plug in 2, you get 1. And if you plug in negative 1, you get negative 5, which is down here-ish. So the table says this. So in particular, note that the parabola is opening down, and it has a negative leading coefficient, so that seems reasonable.